Jose Coronel Urteco, the 28th of February 1906 to the 19th of March 1994, was a Nicaraguan poet, translator, essayist, critic, narrator, playwright, diplomat and historian. He has been described as the most influential Nicaraguan thinker of the 20th century. After an attraction to fascism in the 1930s, he became a strong supporter of the Sandinista National Liberation Front in 1977. Early life He was born on 28 February 1906, in Granada, Nicaragua, the son of Manuel Coronel Martus and Blanca Utrecto Avales. His father, an influential politician, writer and journalist, hold relevant positions under the government of President José Santos Zelaya, among them, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Minister of Governance, and Minister of Culture and Education. He died in 1910 short after the United States forced President Zelaya to exile and invaded militarily the country. The circumstances of his death are not clear. Some theories say he was killed by members of the Conservative Party in a political hunt after Zelaya's fall, while others, less accepted theories, stated he killed himself. Coronel Urteco was then six years old, and never completely recovered from his father's unclear death circumstances. With his mother and sister Lola, they moved to San Francisco in 1924, after he graduated from Jesuit High School, Colegio Centro America, where he started his passion for poetry and published his first poems and literary analysis. Jesuit Catholic education deeply influenced him. He remained in contact with the Society of Jesus for Life. Living in California he discovered North American poetry, and became a great admirer of many of its authors, especially Walt Whitman, Alan Poe and Ezra Pound, which he later translated into Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Vanguard movement He returned to Granada in 1927, and started publishing in the local newspaper Nicaraguan Daily. A fan of the burlesque and a man of a refined sense of humor, at his 20th coronal published in his most sarcastic tone the poem Ode to Ruben Dario in which he publicly establishes a break from modernism. Rebel in the content, the poem though is still traditional in its lyric. His position is both rejection and adhesion, is the disciple's insurrection against the admired teacher. About a year later, he led with Luis Alberto Cabrales and Joaquín Pasos Arguello the foundation of the vanguard literary movement, with other young Nicaraguan writers, among them Manolo Cuadra y Pablo Antonio Cuadra, the youngest of the group. The movement developed between 1927 and 1933, renewing and influencing the country poetry and literature after 40 years of modernism and the heavy influence of Rubén Darío on Nicaraguan poetry. In 1928, with Cabrales and Passos, he founded the weekly magazine Semana, and founded Criterio with Dionisio Cuadra Bernard, his close friend and classmate both later married sisters Maria and Eliza Kautz. Magazines and newspapers were always key to the vanguardist's voice. In the following years, Coronel published most of his work in these two and many other newspapers, magazines and journals, including the Jesuit publications Revista del Pensamiento Centroamericano the Central American Thinking Magazine and Cuadernos Universitarios University Notebooks. Political and diplomatic career Coronel Urteco was a man of swings in politics. He started far from his father's political path and support to the liberal revolution, led by José Santos Zelaya. On the contrary, growing under the influence of a conservative family, on his mother's side, he started as an ultra-conservative and pro-fascist politician. He later changed his ideology completely and shared his father's passionate engagement to a revolution. 
In 1934, at 28, he launched the reactionary movement and the newspaper La Réaction, in which he and the vanguardist movement advanced pro-fascist ideas and supported the eternal presidency of Anastasio Somoza Garcia, father and founder of the infamous Somoza's dictatorship. Furthermore, he provided philosophical and intellectual foundation to the idea of Somoza ruling Nicaragua forever, in a public letter that, years later, he himself regretted and felt ashamed of. They the vanguardists claimed the need to create a new culture for the nation, where a mix of colonial and indigenous heritage were the foundation. Therefore and, influenced by fascist ideas, they proposed a radical solution to the political crisis, the suppression of political parties and of all forms of popular election, and advocating one president for life. In 1935 he was elected congressman, appointed sub-secretary of education in 1938, and cultural attaché in New York and Spain, in 1948, by President Roman Reyes, Somoza's uncle. In Spain, he contacted and become close friend to Spanish writer Luis Rosales, and part of Rosales' vanguardist circle of friends. Among these friends and through his sons and daughter expressed political opposition to Somoza and a growing political opposition to Somoza in Nicaragua, changed coronal initial affiliation and beliefs. In 1959 he retired from politics and diplomacy and moved back to live in the tropical forests of the San Juan River, in the border of Nicaragua and Costa Rica, where his wife grew up and where they both lived for the rest of their lives and were buried. That same year Coronel Erteco started to write about the history of Nicaragua, too, and became a strong critic of the Somoza administrations, which had ruled Nicaragua since 1934 with his own, and his vanguardists' friends' support. He remained retired and writing, only linked to intellectual activities with sporadic visits to the capital cities of Managua, Nicaragua, and San Jose, Costa Rica. In July 1960, he was part of the intellectuals and notables who supported the Society of Jesus in founding the Universidad Centroamericana UCA, as the first private Catholic university in Central America. Years later, after his death, the university named its new library after him. Most of the books of Coronel's personal library, manuscripts and other related personal belongings were donated to the library and exhibited in there. Las Brisas, his wife's farm, as he used to point out, remarking he had no material wealth, was located out of a smaller stream of San Juan River, and become a popular place for intellectuals and journalists' meetings and visits. The area's popularity increased when his nephew, Catholic priest Ernesto Cardinal, himself an influential poet and figure of the liberation theology, founded in 1965 a religious and cultural community in the nearby Solentine archipelago. Cardinal was also key in Coronel Erteco new political beliefs. In 1976 many intellectuals met in Las Brisas for Coronel's 70th birthday, among them Argentinian writer Julio Cortazar, who was visiting Cardinal in Solentiname. After the 1979 Nicaraguan Revolution, Cortazar visited Nicaragua many times. In 1974, during one of Coronel's sporadic stays in Managua, preparing by the time his lectures, three conferences to the private sector, he was kidnapped by the founder and leader of the Sandinista movement, Carlos Fonseca Amador. For about 12 hours he stayed in a secret house where Fonseca spoke about Nicaragua's political crisis and reminded him of his responsibility for the intellectual validation and support to Somoza's political regime, and the need to now support the end of Somoza's era. That conversation had a deep impact on him and kept in secret until later published in 1986. After the Sandinista National Liberation Front led Nicaragua's 1979 revolution, which ended more than 40 years of Somoza's family control over Nicaragua, Coronel Erteco became a passionate supporter of the new revolutionary government and its political agenda. <laughs> <laughs> Marriage and family 
He married Nicaraguan German descendant Maria Kautz Gross Gro, to whom he dedicated many of his best poems such as The Hunter, Short Biography of My Wife, Love Song for the Autumn and Lumber Moon among others. She was the daughter of Nicaraguan German lady Eliza Gross Barberina and her German husband and cousin Richard Kautz Gro. Maria grew up with her four sisters Juana, Eliza, Julia and Mina in his parents' 14,000 hectares farm San Francisco del Rio, along the San Juan River. Red hair, deep blue eyes and athletic figure, Maria had a strong character and a surprising physical strength for a girl. At the age of 14 she was in charge of the farm, knew how to handle a machete, drove a caterpillar and was a skilled mechanical and carpenter who built her own ships, and ruled workers in the farm being as good or better as any of them. The Kautz Gross sisters frequently traveled on sailing boats crossing Lake Nicaragua from the small town of San Carlos to the city of Granada, where they bought food and cloth, and sailed back to the farm. After Coronel returned from California, one day of 1930 he saw Maria for the first time. She was in Granada building a boat on the lake coast. Then 22, she was—as usual—wearing pants, a white blouse and a straw hat, smoking and walking on the logs selecting lumber for her new ship. He asked who the estranged girl was and said it would be fun to date her. His friends laughed at him because all young men in the city were afraid of asking her out, and those who did were rejected. He bet his hat on succeeding at dating her. Maria Kautz and José Coronel Erteco married in the small church of San Carlos in 1931. They had seven children, six sons and one daughter. One died of cancer in childhood, Christian, and another, named after his father, mysteriously disappeared during the Cold War while studying at the University of Frankfurt, Germany, in 1961. The rest of them all supported in the following years the Sandinista guerrilla and Nicaragua's 1979 revolution, which ended Somoza's family dictatorship. One of Coronel's oldest twin sons, Manuel Coronel Kautz, is currently Nicaragua's Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs and the head authority of the Nicaragua Great Canal Project, currently the largest economical initiative of the country. Twin Ricardo Coronel Kautz, was a member of the anti-Somoza political movement known as the Group of Twelve, in Spanish Los Dos, and both were subsecretaries of the Agrarian Reform Institute between 1980 and 1989. The youngest son Carlos Coronel Kautz was key advisor to Edain Pastora, a guerrilla commander who separated from the Sandinistas in 1981. His nephews, brothers Edgar Chamorro Coronel and Eduardo, on the other side, supported the Contras against the Sandinistas, in the civil war that took place with the United States financial support after the 1979 revolution. They are sons of Jose's sister Dolores Lola Coronel Erteco, who married Julio Chamorro Bernard, son of Filadelfo Chamorro Bolanos with wife Bertha Bernard Vivas, and paternal grandson of Pedro Joaquín Chamorro Alfaro, the 39th president of Nicaragua, and wife Maria de la Luz Bolanos Bendana. Jose Coronel Erteco had a half-brother from his father's side, named Luis Coronel Martus Jr. Luis, was recognized only by his father, he took him away from his mother as he was not married to her. Luis lived with Jose and Lola, when they were kids. Luis has always been excluded from his father, Manuel Coronel Martus, biography. Luis died in 1979. Death José Coronel Erteco spent his latter years reading and writing in the small town of Los Chiles, Costa Rica, near Nicaraguan San Carlos, capital town of the San Juan River region. In 1992, his wife Maria died of lung cancer. Coronel Erteco's physical and emotional health quickly deteriorated after his wife's death. She was, as he used to say, his anchor to earth. He had a tendency to suffer nervous breakdowns and suffer from mental problems during his entire life. Once Maria crossed the lake with him tied to the mast of a boat and brought him to a clinic, in Granada. 
On March 19, 1994, José Coronel Urteco, a man now considered one of the most influential poets of 20th century in Central America, died of skin cancer. His remains and Marias are buried in Los Chiles, Costa Rica. Topic Work. The work of Jose Coronel was scattered in journals and newspapers until the author has agreed to pick up an anthology in his book Polla Donanta, Catanta, Paranta, published in 1970, subtitled Imitations and Translations. Narciso, 1938. La Merte del Hombre Chimbolo, 1938. Panorama y Antología de la Poesía Norteamericana, 1948. Chinfonia Burguesa, 1957. Rapido Transito. Al ritmo de Norteamérica, 1953, 1959. Reflections sobre la historia de Nicaragua, de Gainza a Somoza, 1962. Pola de Nanta, Catanta, Paranta, 1970, 1989, 1993. La familia Zavala y la Política del Comercio en Centroamérica, 1971. Tres conferencias a la empresa privada, 1974. Paneles de Inferno, 1981. Prosa Reunida, 1985. Siendo pintado por Dietr Mashur, 1985. Conversación con Carlos, 1986. Líneas para un boceto de Clarabel Alegría, 1989. Antología de poesía norteamericana en colaboración con Ernesto Cardinal, 1963 y 2007. Editorial El Perro y Lirana. Topic. See also Movimiento de Vanguardia de Nicaragua